guys, I'd like to introduce you, if you don't already know already, uh, to the Maverick or the DJI Mavic Pro. Um, now, this is not going to be a professional unboxing, of course. This is just basically um, me giving you my opinion of this uh, drone so far. I've had it now a little over a week, and I have flown it every day that I've had it. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about what I purchased because there, there are different packages that you can purchase and uh, why I think you know probably this is the best one that you would want to go with if you were looking to get it into a drone. What I got was the Fly More Pack which came with the drone, came with the remote, it came with uh, actually three batteries total so a battery came with it and then two. I do recommend that you label your batteries. Uh, because it does keep track of how many times your batteries are charged. So if you have multiple batteries, which again I recommend because though you get about 20, it's been quite windy here. The, the entire time I've been flying it. Uh, and so that's what really makes the footage I'm going to show you today very impressive. Is this little drone that's the size of my hand gives you the type of footage I'm about to show you here in a little bit. Uh, but you get about, I would say if it's really windy, probably about 25 minutes of flying time. If On a calm day, you're probably going to get closer to maybe 28. Uh, but what's nice about having multi batteries, you can bring the uh, bring the drone back, pop in another battery, go back up and keep flying. It's, it's a very addictive <laughs> uh, hobby because that's exactly what these are. It is becoming more and more prominent in our society. You're starting to see more and more people with drones, um, but there's also a lot of people that are skeptical of drones. Um, they're worried about privacy. They're worried about, you know, something, somebody being hurt. So again, back to what we've got here. We've got the, the two additional batteries. They're smart batteries. Um, this right here, you do get uh, a four dock uh, charging station, so you can actually put four batteries on here. Now the only thing is, it only charges one battery at a time. Whichever one you put on first, it charges that one and then goes to the next one. So I think this is more for if you have multiple batteries, that way you can throw it on there and just walk off and you don't have to worry about it. It does come with just a single charger um, that you can use so that you can put just one battery on it. Uh, the actual charging dock does have some USB ports on it that allow you to charge other things. Um, so I charge, I actually fly mine with an iPad mini and it allows me just to charge that. So when I have it just on my dock upstairs, I can just plug everything in and everything starts to charge. Batteries probably take about 30 minutes to charge on a plug-in, maybe a little bit less than that. I have not charged it yet with a cigarette lighter uh, where you can use in your car. Um, so it, it does have that. Another nice thing about the batteries is it doesn't matter which side you put it on. There's no wrong way of putting the battery on on the charger. So that's that's pretty cool. The remote is very. Uh, it's like a little gaming. So if you, I mean, I don't play video games, but you know, I, I've my sons have a few games. But this is almost like one of those little PS4 controllers. Um, it's got the uh, antennas. And the antennas, what you never want to do is have your antennas kind of like this uh, because that kind of messes with what I found is messes with the interference and some things I've seen online. It's usually good to have these kind of pointed at a 45 degree angle. You seem, I seem to get the best, um, best signal that way. The joysticks, it's just a, it's a really well made. Um, it, it's got good resistance to it. It's not, you can just tell it's not real cheap. It's not cheaply made. It's got a lot of ports on it where you can hit the record button, you can hit, you can take a picture with it if you want to. Um, it's got an automatic return home. Uh, there's just so much on this. Is I, I've got mine set up here for autofocus on the tabs on the bottom. This right, this little dial here controls your uh, uh, the gimbal, so up and down pan. And then over here, you, you've also got one that controls your IS or ISO, I think is what they call it. But basically, if you need to make, make the picture darker or, or, or lighter. Uh, but one thing that I have done with mine, uh, it does come with a bag if you buy the, the Fly More combo. Um, I actually purchased another bag just simply because it's a little bit bigger. 
uh, and everything just kind of sits in here really well. Plus, it house what I fly with, and that's the iPad Mini. Now you can throw your cell phone on it. Um, I just found that, you know, with the cell phone, um, the little it, it comes with another one. One of these right here. It's it's real small. Kind of goes in here. I had an iPhone 6 Plus, and it was like you had to take this out and just kind of it was. I don't know. I just didn't like messing with all that. A little knot here. Work on that. So I just fly with a mini. It's just a um, uh, basically it has the the port for the iPad Mini on it, and it's just got the USB. Now there's two different ports on these. You you have the one that if you're going to use your phone or whatever you want to use it, automatically it's plugged into here. And then there's one on the bottom here. Now if you plug something into the bottom one, the side one does not work. If you plug something on the side one, the bottom one doesn't work. So you can't get output from both. It's one or the other. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, so all I do is put mine in, and then, uh, of course, the plug, the area that I'm gonna plug in, and all you do is this thing, it really does spread out quite a bit, and all you do is just kind of push the iPad mini in. So now you have, you know, something like this that you're flying with versus something, you know, like a like a phone in here. I just found that I'm able to see everything just a whole lot better. Um, yeah, it, with the bag, it does make it portable. Um, so all you do is basically from that point is you plug it in. You do go to the App Store, download the uh, app, the DJI app. And one thing I want to uh, tell you if this is something that you end up going with is there's a lot of firmware that DJI puts out because they're constantly making updates to the software on this and you know again you guys can you can go how there's there's some people that have made a whole lot better videos than I have from the standpoint of giving you a breakdown of what the display looks like and those types of things my thing was to basically show you what I've got how I use it what I use to fly with it again just having the iPad mini you can just you know that you just have a whole lot more there uh, a whole lot more screen to just navigate um, this thing has amazing capabilities. Uh, it can track things, which I'll show you right here in this clip. You just pull, pull out, pull out. It's good to not just slam these, um, just because those are probably areas that will wear over time, because it's just kind of made to pop open. Uh, but I always just kind of guide it, kind of hold it till it gets there. Now to turn it on, all you do is press, you can let go, and press and hold. The lights will come on. I'll do it for you. So that turns it on. I'm even going to fire this up just because the the wall or the handheld button does it the same way. You just press it one time, press and hold it. It will show you the percentage of your battery. Plus, it will actually turn the. Uh, I guess I didn't hold it long enough, but it will say connected there. So I'll just go into the app. So I don't know how well you guys will be able to see this. So here's what I'm talking about here. It's got a new firmware that needs to update. All you do to update it is just slide it over and it will go through the process of downloading that information into the app, transferring it over to the Mavic, and whenever it tells you you're ready to fly, it will tell you, it gives you right up here your percentage. Uh, it's updating, it's at 23%. What you don't want to do, you want to try to do your updating in Wi-Fi. Because you get out somewhere and you want to fly it, uh, depending on how well your LTE, LTE is, it may take it may take an hour to, to download some of this stuff. Uh, but if you're in Wi-Fi, it seems to do it really, really quickly. 
Now, one thing I did is the Mavic is, as you can see, it has just these little legs here and this little bitty hind leg here. And that really puts it right on the ground. So, um, I actually purchased what, a landing gear kit, a uh, landing kit. And all these do is basically just go on, they just kind of, you just push it down. Uh, it's not really, I mean, they stay on there. I've flown with it several times already and I had no issues with them coming off. You just kind of press them in until they're tight. You do have some sensors here on the bottom. This right here just kind of plugs into the back. It kind of hooks on the little legs. It's already there. But what that gives you is whenever you're taking off or you're landing, a lot more room underneath. Uh, so you don't have a bunch of debris flying up, getting inside of your, you know, the air intake that's here, plus grass and, and other things. Um, update is complete. It's told me it's updated, ready to go. It's asking me, okay, hey, do you want to go fly? So this is what it kind of looks like right here, guys. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. We have some great YouTube channels. I'm going to link a few of them in the description below um, that will give you a whole lot more detail than what I have here. There's no reason for me to recreate something that they've already done a very good job in doing. Just bought this and bought the controller. It's like $999, $1,000. Um, but I think you're going to see in this footage I'm about to show you, it's worth every penny of it. Um, if you do the Fly More, these are typically $89 a piece. I would have at least three batteries total. Um, that way, if you get you want to take your children or you want to go out yourself or just a girlfriend or go out on a date, guys, this is great <laughs> if you want to take your date out. Um, one thing I have noticed is that when you go out and fly flew, out, flew in the park this weekend, and there were some there were some people out there, people flocked to this. Because a lot of times when it gets up, it's not a real noisy thing. Once it gets to about 100 feet, maybe 150 feet, you really don't hear it. Uh, but before then, you know, you'll hear the propellers and people were like looking. And the moment they see it, they start looking around to see who's got the controller. Some, you know, people come over and say, man, that's cool. They were checking it out on this. And they were like, wow, you know, where'd you get it? Uh, because, again, not a lot of people are into drones yet. Um, and I think it's something that's going to be catching on pretty quickly. And I think it's something that people are going to enjoy doing. And I think the stigma is that, um, you know, people are going to crash these into people's cars. You see YouTube videos of them crashing the side of the wall. I think to crash this thing from a standpoint of other than doing something stupid, like just generally putting this thing out there and flying it, um, the technology that it has, it's got two forward sensors. So if it's flying and it senses something, um, which what I found to be about maybe five or six feet away, this thing stops. I mean, it just, it will sit there and go all of a sudden, it just, just stops right there. Uh, it also has sensors on the bottom of it. You, know, you, can, you can throw everything in this bag. I mean, literally everything will fit in this bag. Again, I did go with a little bit bigger bag. Um, now this extra bag that I have, if you are a subscriber of my channel and you get one of these. Now I've got the link below where you can buy just the Mavic and the controller or you can buy the buy more or the uh, the more combo where you get all this stuff linked below. If you buy if you happen to buy one of these and you buy just the uh, Mavic and the remote and again it'll run you about $1000 uh, and you don't have a bag, email me. The email address is in the description. Send me an email of you with your Mavic, and I'll give you this bag. It's about a, I mean, I, I think they sell this bag for like 79 bucks on their website. So it's not something that I'm going to need. I'll be happy to give it to one of my subscribers if you guys buy one of these, and you because it doesn't come with it if you buy just the Mavic. Uh, but again, send me a picture of you with it, and I'll get it out there. I'll get your information, and we'll get it sent to you. Is what you're going to be doing here is pressing this one button press it, says take off. Do you want to take off? You say yes. And the Mavic comes up about that high and it will just stop. And then from there you're ready to go. It's already, uh, it's showing uh, there's a uh, obstacle right here. You'll see that it's showing something about two meters away. Uh, very responsive. Again, all of these settings in here 
you can change how responsive uh, the actual drone is. You can go side to side, backwards, forwards, you turn around, it turns around on a dime. So if you were trying to get some footage of your house or something like that, maybe you're selling it. But you can see kind of how loud it is. And again, we're in a house, so you're going to get some echo out of that. You know, as I put my hand underneath it, it senses me and it raises up. And then it's going to hit something. Thank you.